Hello everybody, my name is Tommy. Today, I'm going to be your science teacher for grade four. So today, we're gonna learn about a very new topic. Do you know what it is? Well, this topic is, why do beavers build dams? So do you know why do beavers build dams? Do they build dams for homes? Or do they build dams for safety or security. So today, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about why do beavers build dams. I am going to ask the, answer a question from a boy called Mateo <clears throat> to tell you about why do beavers build dams. So let's give Mateo a call now. Okay, so Mateo has said, <clears throat> Mateo has also asked, the question that I'm writing here. Why do beavers build dams? So now, let's answer his question. More of all, you are going to know more about this topic. Why do beavers build dams? First of all, do you know the Hoover Dam? Here, this is something like a Hoover Dam. It is the tallest dam in the world. It's immense size. This is the river that the Hoover Dam is built on. This river is shallow. Do you know why? This is because that the Hoover Dam is actually separating one piece of the river to another piece of the river. We call this part of the river a pond because the water is not moving. You see, the stream rushes up here, but it will stop at the dam. It will create like um, steam coming up from the top of the dam. But the waves will not currently go through here. Actually a bit. This pond is a great place for us to make bridges to go across or the land outside to make cities. And cities root with a bridge. But the Hoover Dam is made by cranes, tractors, and even the cemetery. So we need something that is not made out of cemetery. So the Hoover Dam is from San Francisco, where I am from, let's erase the Hoover Dam and replace it with another short of dam, but it's made by animals. And of course you know that type of dam is made by beavers. So this dam is kind of like a lake, like this. So this here, I'm going to highlight this part. This is the border of the dam. And the dam separates a giant river. There, the river goes to like the northwest and it separates it. The river rush to the dam, but like the Hoover Dam, it creates steam and protects the pond, as they call it, or bigger, a lake to have current only a bit, a bit of flowing waves, but they're really small. So what do they actually do with the dams? They do not live in the dams, but what do they do? So let's erase these two words and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Okay, so dams that beavers make also affect where they build their homes. This is their home, for example, do you know what is their home called? Well, if you don't know, I'll tell you. The home of the beaver is called a lodge. What is a lodge, by the way? Well, a lodge is simply a house or a type of shelter that is made out of sticks. And the outside covering that I drew is the dirt that is covering the sticks. So to make the inside part not so wet the most the most 
<clears throat> interesting that I might say is that they build their dams, but from the dams, they have secret entrances. So whenever they see a wolf or a coyote, then they would simply slap their their flat tails to create water movement to ensure that all of the other beavers will move into the lodge. Stay there. Next is the sort of <clears throat> food. How does it get food? How does the beaver get food during the winter? How? Well, this is the entrance of the, the lodge, okay? So, the deck. So, they will put a pile of sticks here. Do you know why? This is because that the beaver's favorite food is sticks and bark from the trees that they have cut. <coughs> okay, so that is the end of our fact file about why do beavers build dams. And I would like to thank you all for listening to my presentation. And I'm going to give you three ideas in our question jar so you can choose from it. First of all, how is gold made? Second of all, why is... Second of all, why do magicians trick you? And how do they trick you also? And third of all, how is a, how rainbows are made. So, hope you vote on it properly. And, you know, thank you for listening. I hope you like it.